Hello, I'm Hi from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Blitzcrank. So Blitzcrank is a champion that is a lot better in solo queue than he is in a competitive, since he's very good at punishing people for being out of position, and he's also really good with people that play Kalista. So if there's a Kalista on your team, look to play Blitzcrank, and it makes him a lot stronger. But then, even though he's like good at picking people off in solo queue, it depends on what yield you're at. The lower the better, the higher the worse he gets. So he's kind of a champion that gets like harder to play once you're better players. So I'd give him like probably like 8 out of 10 in lower ELO, but like a 6 out of 10 in higher ELO. Following that, so make sure you roam a lot on Blitzcrank and look for hooks. And be careful about hooking the tanks in and or hooking someone to start a fight where you would lose the fight since that happens a lot. I see a lot of Blitzcrank run around just hooking at every chance they get. And sometimes you don't want to hook just because it started a fight that you would lose. So be careful about that with Blitzcrank. For Blitzcrank landing, it's really all dependent on how good you are at landing hooks. If you can't hit hooks, you're gonna have the worst lane phase of your life. And if you can hit a lot of hooks, you're gonna have a really good lane phase. So regardless of the matchup he's in, it's really dependent on you can land on hooks or not. Even against a matchup like Morgana, if you can like hook the person that doesn't get black shield, it's still really good for you. However, it does get harder. And you basically just have to be really good at Blitzcrank to have a good lane phase. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time, regardless of what matchup you're versed. So Blitzcrank is a notoriously bad team fighter since he doesn't provide too much CC during a team fight. Even though he has a silence, an active, and a hook, they're just all super long cooldown and kind of hard to get off. So for Blitzcrank, you mostly want to be looking to start the team fight by hooking a squishy. Alternatively, if a team fight already started and you're in the midst of it, look to peel for your AD carry by knocking up the person diving him or try to get a hook on their backline, like saving it throughout the team fight. Don't just use a hook on the tank just cause the damage isn't really worth it. It's better to hold off on it to try and hook someone to get them out of position. So be careful of team fighting on Blitzcrank. And obviously your ultimate is a wide AOE silence. And that's good for two different things during a team fight. To secure a kill by making sure they can't flash out or to stop someone's channeling ultimate, like a bell cause or something like that. So look for to do those things in the team fight. So for Blitzcrank, a lot of people don't realize that when you're hooking someone and they're traveling towards you, they can flash before you can punch them. And to prevent that from happening is during the hook while they're flying towards you, you can ultimate them while they're still like flying towards you to silence them to guarantee that you can get the punch up afterwards. So if you know they have flash and you know they're gonna die from that hook, just assume they're gonna flash after they get hooked and ultimate them mid air so they're silenced and then follow it up with the knockup. Don't be greedy and try and get the knockup into the ult because a lot of times you're just gonna flash out and then you can't chase them anymore or you're gonna have to flash after them. It's just better to ult them in mid air. So when you're playing Blitzcrank, don't be so trigger happy on your hook. So a lot of the things that people will do is they'll start pathing differently to try and dodge your Q by pacing back and forth. And if you're just running at them directly, there's a very high chance you'll catch them or alternatively, they'll put themselves into a position where they can't dodge, where they'll run towards a wall and they really have nowhere else to dodge. So don't be trigger hacker on your hook. Hold off on it and just run at them and save the hook for a good opportunity. So for Blitzcrank, your standard page will be flat armor reds, flat HP yellows, flat MR blues, and flat armor queens. There are scenarios where if you don't need magic resistance on your blues, you can run flat mana to take make you more tanky. But other than that, you more or less want that run page just to be as tanky as possible. So for Masteries on Blitzcrank, I like to run 0 12, 18. The reason I go 0 12, 18 is to get Grasp of the Undying. It's a very underrated Mastery on supports, especially melee supports, since it's percent max HP, and basically it does a lot of damage. And with Blitzcrank, it lets you get super tanky since you get Legendary Guardian as well, and you do a lot of damage from Grasp of the Undying. So for Blitzcrank, you always start Q. There's usually never a reason not to start Q, just because if you're Blitzcrank, you should look to invade. And in case you can't find anyone, you have two options what you can do. You can go to their uh, double golem or cramp and look to mess with them, like hook them and like kill them. Or you just go to lane and like camp and look to hook them there. Because doing a camp on Blitzcrank is pretty miserable. Even if you start E and if you have E in lane, you're pr you're, it's not that ideal. But in the case your AD carry is adamant on doing it, you can start E uh, in the case you're on the purple side to do gromp. But it's pretty bad if you're doing double ones on blue side. So for Blitzcrank, you max Q, followed by E, followed by W. Now, that's arguable. You can max W over E second in the case you want. Or alternatively, you can only get three points of the Q and then max the other two. It really depends on your playstyle and what you're trying to do in the game. In the case you're fighting a lot, E is very useful since it just makes your team fighting better since you get more knockouts. In the case you're roaming a lot, roaming around a lot, W is pretty good since you just get to run from point A to point B a lot faster. And it really depends on your playstyle, and he's pretty versatile in what you need to and what you can max. 
So for item builds on Blitzcrank, 90% of the time you will start Targon Spray since it just makes your lane phase a lot stronger in the case of mishooks and it gives you face to the mountain which is really good on Blitzcrank. Alternatively, you could run Frostfang and the reason for that is you get to get the Ghosties and when you Ghosty someone, it's pretty hard to miss a hook after, although that makes your lane phase a lot weaker. So if you're versus like a really weak lane, then you can go Frostfangs, but 9% of the time you'll need Targons. Are you ready? Following that, your items that you can get are, once again, really dependent on who you're versus on the enemy team. In the case there's a lot of 80 champions, you'll want to get a Frozen Heart. In the case there's a lot of AP champions, you'll want to get a Locket. Obviously, get your sights done first, and then following that, get one of those two items, depending on the enemy team comp. And following that, you just want 45% CDR on Blitzcrank, so look to get that through whatever means possible, or that means getting a Frozen Heart and a Locket and a Mikhail, or like a Frozen Heart and then getting like a Zeke's or whatever. Basically, build to 45% CDR, getting the stats needed against the enemy team, building armor cooldown items if you first a lot of AD, and building MR cooldowns if you first a lot of AP. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides on lawclass.com.